Hello and welcome. In this video, I will talk about a scenario called customer reimbursement. Before I talk about in the system how it looks like, I will I will you know make you understand what this scenario is all about. So suppose a customer called Wingtip Toys India Limited having transactions where they have paid more or there is some credit balance in the customer account as an open transaction and customer came up and said that this money they want as a refund into their bank account they don't want to offset with the existing bank balance or existing balance of any other invoices they want the money as a refund <clears throat> how it is possible the problem statement here is in the customer customer payment journal we can settle this however we cannot send this or we cannot pay this we cannot show this as a liability or we cannot pay this from the customer transactions rather the possibility here in dynamics is we can refund this to this customer by creating a, a vendor as a customer don't get confused <clears throat> i will make you understand say suppose i want to refund this money 877 to this customer so what i will do i will create a i will create a vendor or if this customer is already a vendor for the organization i can add that vendor account under miscellaneous details here i will select this vendor account then what will happen i will run a process called customer reimbursement and the money which you know customer you know which we need to pay to the customer that will be transferred to this vendor account as a liability and from there we can pay that to the vendor let's see the first setup i have mentioned this in under this miscellaneous details you need to select the vendor account and after that we need to go before that i will show you once again we have transactions open transactions which is two as a debit balance and the last one is credit balance this one will be reimbursed to this customer rather to the vendor now i will go to the account receivable module and then i will select this periodic under periodic task we have process called reimbursement and then i can filter i can summarize customer i can include customer with outstanding debit by transactions this means say suppose this here we have debit transactions we have credit transactions so if we have debit transactions then then system we need to we need to tell to the system that this even this there is any debit transactions then also the credit transactions will be refunded here i have selected i maybe i will select one customer this one wing tip is 0001 now i will click okay the reimburse process reimbursement process is completed now you see this one the reimbursement process is completed we can see the message details and it is showing reimbursement issued for transaction 006 Tran reimbursement transaction has been created Okay, <clears throat> so now if I refresh, you will see that credit transaction was there. It is not there because we have run it and it has it has been closed. If I make it closed now, you will see this one. I will maybe. run it for today today's date so now you see this was my balance it it was my transaction which was about to be refunded and you can see this has been treated as a debit transactions the same time i also want to see where this liability is lying now i will go to this vendor from here i will go to the vendor transactions i 
I will select open maybe I will select this see as you see this one is now transfer the total balance of the transaction to this vendor account as a liability from here I can create a vendor payment journal if you have host to so API based integration to the bank I can send this I can send this to my uh, ideally to the customer account okay now if I summarize what I have done I organization had some credit balance on the customer we had run a reimbursement process and that credit balance has been transferred to the vendor account how this was transferred because under miscellaneous details under remittance we have selected the vendor account and on the particular vendor the transactions have been transferred or reimbursed from there the normal process of vendor payment will work another question you may ask that what if I forget to tell or what if I don't have that time to create the vendor or Wizware is not accepting that I will not create the vendor and then I will add here <clears throat> so what what will happen if I make this vendor account empty so the answer is this will not be a problem if we don't have the vendor account what will happen in accounts payable parameter we have option called one time vendor how this one time vendor account works I have already created a video on this you can watch it in your free time then see this so if this one time vendor account is set up then what will happen if that miscellaneous vendor account is empty then system will automatically create a vendor account based on this customer name and then it will work and the transaction will be transferred to this vendor account this is the total automation process if we don't have this system will create as a vendor account from the one time vendor setup and will transfer the total balance from there so this is all about the vendor sorry customer reimbursement process one thing I would like to show you as a reporting you have a report called customer reimbursement here under customer you can select it inquiries and report reimbursement report you can run this report First, the reimbursement report has been run and it has generated this report it will show us all the transactions see our transaction also it's coming here it will show the customer account the vendor account and the date and the voucher and the amount in accounting currency and amount in transaction currency this all it will come like this as a reimbursement report as a standard reporting system I will close this so that's all about the customer reimbursement functionality available in Dynamics 65 Finance and Operations. I hope you have learned something new today. Thanks for watching. Let's wait for another video. Bye for now.